How is voting used in a multi-party negotiation and why is it difficult? Well, oftentimes, in order to establish consensus with regard to a course of action, the parties to a multi-party negotiation will vote. This is particularly true when you have multi-parties on each side of a negotiation, such as when teams or groups negotiate with each other. Now, you need to come to consensus among individuals who have differing interests within each team. So the team members will vote, and the most common form is to use a majority rule. That is, the dominant sentiment among the group is going to establish the position that the group takes as a whole, such that you can begin the negotiation process, that is, trading off and making concessions with the other party in the negotiation. Now, this alone is difficult because oftentimes parties are not receptive to simply a majority rule vote. They still have their sentiment that will live past the majority rule and they may not cooperate wholly in the resolution of the negotiation because of this. So this is one difficulty. Another aspect of the voting process is known as the Condorcet paradox. And this is a strange result, it basically shows that the winners of a majority rule in an election, or in this case the outcome of a vote among a group members in a multi-party negotiation, will vary depending on the order in which you vote on particular issues. So if a party to uh, the negotiation presents his or her interest or uh, proposed course of action last, they may not fare as well or is maybe less likely to prevail in the negotiation than if they had presented that first. So this paradox makes the voting process more difficult. Another one is the impossibility theorem, and this theorem is uh, applied statistically to a lot of contexts, but in negotiations it says that the derivation or the coming to a group consensus or a group preference derived from an individual preference is almost impossible or indeterminate if certain conditions are precedent. And with this being said, if you can't come to a consensus within the group, how do you represent yourself to the other side? So in certain contexts, coming to a group consensus is going to be extremely difficult. Next, strategic, next, strategic voting and misrepresentation. It's not uncommon for individual members of a group to misrepresent their vote or true intentions for the purpose of gaining some power or leverage in the situation. This is often done through strategic alliances in the group where one party uh, co-ops another party to vote with them in order to prevail in exchange for secondary value. So once again, this strategic voting can cause the parties to the negotiation, one, to lose trust in each other, but also makes it more difficult to arrive to a consensus, especially when that strategic voting uh, is not disclosed or involves some level of misrepresentation. And then lastly, consensus agreement. Uh, a cognitive bias or well-known cognitive bias is false consensus. That is, you believe that the group wants one thing, uh, so you readily go along with that rather than express your true interest. And in reality, the group does not want that thing, and it causes the group to settle on a position that is in nobody's best interest and is not anyone's first choice. And this arises generally in smaller groups where you have individuals who are very conscious not to step on the toes or offend others so they don't want to express their opinion and rock the boat. But aside from this cognitive bias, groups oftentimes employ something called a consensus agreement where basically the group ultimately comes to a consensus on their position based upon their belief that it's in the best interest of the whole group. So you're in a way negotiating internally to come to some level of consensus and agreement before you begin uh, negotiating externally. So once again, establishing consensus is the key goal, but this can be very difficult. And even the procedures of arriving at a consensus agreement can be quite difficult. So these are some of the difficulties and challenges that you will find uh, when employing voting and arriving at a consensus in a multi-party negotiation.